Did you know that every time you use a computer, smartphone, or any digital device, you're relying on the work of a man who lived over 1,200 years ago? It's true. And today, we're diving into the fascinating life of the father of algebra, Muhammad ibn Musa al-Khwarizmi. Born around 780 CE in the region now known as Uzbekistan, al-Khwarizmi grew up during the Islamic Golden Age. This was a time of incredible scientific and cultural advancement in the Muslim world. As a young man, al-Khwarizmi moved to Baghdad, the vibrant capital of the Abbasid Caliphate. There he joined the House of Wisdom, a renowned center of learning and scientific research. Now you might be wondering what's so special about this guy? Well buckle up, because al-Khwarizmi's contributions to mathematics changed the world as we know it. First and foremost, al-Khwarizmi is credited with developing algebra as a distinct branch of mathematics. His groundbreaking book, The Compendious Book on Calculation by Completion and Balancing, introduced the concept of solving equations systematically. This work was so influential that the word algebra itself comes from the Arabic title of his book, Al-Jabr. But Al-Khwarizmi didn't stop there. He also introduced the decimal system and the concept of zero to the Western world. These ideas, which originated in India, were refined and popularized through Al-Khwarizmi's writings. Can you imagine trying to do complex calculations using Roman numerals? Thanks to Al-Khwarizmi, we don't have to. One of the pivotal moments in Al-Khwarizmi's career came when he was tasked with creating accurate astronomical tables. This challenge led him to develop advanced mathematical techniques, including trigonometry. His work in this field laid the foundation for modern astronomy and navigation. Al-Khwarizmi's impact extends far beyond the realm of pure mathematics. His methods for solving practical problems, like inheritance calculations and land surveying, showed the real-world applications of algebra. This approach helped make mathematics more accessible and useful to people in various professions. Here's a mind-blowing fact. The word algorithm, which is so crucial in our digital age, is derived from Al-Khwarizmi's name. That's right. Every time you hear about a computer algorithm, you're hearing an echo of this 9th century genius. But Al-Khwarizmi wasn't just a mathematician, he was also a geographer and astronomer. He revised and corrected Ptolemy's geography, producing one of the most accurate world maps of his time. His work, The Image of the Earth, included coordinates of cities and geographic features, setting the stage for modern cartography. In astronomy, Al-Khwarizmi compiled tables of the movements of the sun, moon, and planets. These tables were used for centuries and played a crucial role in the development of astronomy in both the Islamic world and Europe. Now you might be thinking, this all sounds great, but how does it affect me today? Well, let me tell you, Al-Khwarizmi's work is all around us. Every time you use a GPS, you're benefiting from algebraic calculations. When you shop online and the website recommends products, that's algorithms at work. Even the computer or phone you're watching this video on relies on binary algebra, a direct descendant of Al-Khwarizmi's work. One of Al-Khwarizmi's most famous quotes encapsulates his practical approach to mathematics. That which is easiest is that which is most useful. This philosophy guided his work, making complex mathematical concepts accessible and applicable to everyday life. It's worth noting that while Al-Khwarizmi's contributions were groundbreaking, he built upon the work of earlier mathematicians from various cultures. He synthesized knowledge from Indian, Greek, and Babylonian sources, exemplifying the collaborative nature of scientific progress. Al-Khwarizmi's legacy continued long after his death around 850 CE. His books were translated into Latin in the 12th century, introducing his ideas to Europe and sparking a mathematical revolution. The European Renaissance and the scientific revolution that followed owe a great debt to the foundations laid by Al-Khwarizmi and his contemporaries in the Islamic Golden Age. Despite his monumental contributions, Al-Khwarizmi remains relatively unknown to many people today. This oversight highlights the importance of recognizing the diverse origins of scientific knowledge and the interconnected nature of human progress. As we wrap up our journey through Al-Khwarizmi's life and achievements, let's take a moment to appreciate the profound impact one person can have on the world. From the bustling streets of 9th century Baghdad to the smartphones in our pockets, 
Al-Khwarizmi's ideas have shaped our understanding of mathematics and the universe. So the next time you solve an equation, use a map app, or simply appreciate the wonders of modern technology, remember Al-Khwarizmi. His work reminds us that great ideas can transcend time and culture, continuing to shape our world centuries after their conception. In the end, Al-Khwarizmi's story is not just about mathematics or science. It's a testament to the power of human curiosity, the importance of knowledge sharing, and the enduring legacy of innovative thinking. As we face the challenges of our own time, we can draw inspiration from Al-Khwarizmi's dedication to making complex ideas accessible and useful. Let's carry forward the spirit of Al-Khwarizmi in our own lives, seeking knowledge, embracing innovation, and working to make our world a little bit better, one equation at a time. After all, in the grand algorithm of human progress, we each have a vital role to play.